I never heard of anything like this when I was an, uh, an undergraduate. If I had had this kind of opportunity when I was an undergrad, I would have jumped at it. And I think it would have helped me tremendously in my development as a, as a student and as a scientist. And I really wish that I'd had this kind of opportunity when I was their age. The SRF Summer Scholars Program is a wonderful program. These type of programs are really needed for, for young kids that are developing in, into new scientists. I think it's always beneficial for the research community to have uh, exchange of scholars between different labs and especially young scholars that bring a lot of energy and make it more fun to work as well. Our research projects take a quantum leap forward every summer. When we get these highly intelligent, highly motivated students coming in here every summer, and, uh, and, and bringing in new ideas to, to really advancing the projects that they work on. It's acted as sort of an accelerator and, and rejuvenator for us as researchers uh, every summer. Uh, my mentors were really fantastic this summer. They were really encouraging and uh, they have an infectious uh, passion for improving healthcare and therapeutics. He's really funny and really nice and I can go into his office and ask him just about anything and he makes it easy for me to talk to him and kind of develop as fast as I can. Dr. Grasso made a parada. She's really great. She always answers all my questions. She's always worried about if I'm understanding everything that I'm doing. And she's always available. She's great. And Amanda is, I think she's going to excel whatever she'll do in the future because she has that drive. She is a perfectionist. Every time I uh, propose an experiment to June, uh, she's always really excited and says, yeah, let's do that right away. So I think that's really fun that she brings that kind of energy. I think we have a really good relationship. Definitely a great mentor because he lets me make mistakes on my own sometimes and then kind of is there for me to get advice from, which is really great. For the first couple of weeks I was really coming to him asking what he thought I should be doing or what type of experiment I should be designing next. But he really gave me the confidence to keep going and make my own experiments. By the end of this internship, it's really been me coming up to him just sort of asking for advice and guidance and not necessarily asking what should I do next. The best students, the approaches that they take is figuring out how to take best advantage of their mentors. How to come and not be spoon-fed by us, but figuring out how to strike the right balance between uh, independence and, uh, and instruction. I have a lot of independent room, but then he's always there for um, when I have questions. When I start kind of going off on a tangent, he brings me back to the point of my project. It's really important when you're a young scientist and really trying to find your ground and trying to figure out what you don't want to do. You need people who are more than just telling you what to do. You need people who are mentors, who are willing to like sit you down and say, like, hey, you're on the wrong path. I think you should do this. Or say, hey, good job. You're really working hard and I'm proud of you. And they did that for me and it really helped. They were really fantastic at letting me develop the project um, in a way that I thought was, was suitable. So it made me feel like a real scientist and I could see that I felt like I had an impact on my project. He's a really great mentor. I'm actually really lucky to be working with him this summer. He is like really driven and cares a lot about the research he's doing. We have a really good relationship, I think, where he lets me work pretty independently so I can work efficiently and at the same time gives me enough direction and guidance that uh, I am productive and know sort of where to go with my project. She's really prepared before going into any experiment um, and I think that's an amazing trait and that's one of the traits that I see in her that I hope to pick up and gain from this experience as well. Um, it's been a really awesome experience to work with Federica. She has been incredibly enthusiastic and incredibly quick to pick up the ideas and techniques. We've only had a couple months to, to get started under this endeavor and she's just been amazing. It's amazing to interact with Christina on a daily basis. She's actually pretty outgoing. She was always fun to interact with at lab lunches. It was more than a professional like nine to five hi bye type thing. We really truly became friends. Definitely have a lot of like lunches where we joke around and yeah, he's really approachable and friendly. It's it's great to be a mentor and help mold, you know, the future scientists and help them achieve their goals. It makes it enjoyable to come to work and he definitely is the reason that I got really passionate about the project that I'm doing. 
Christina is actually where I hope to be in 10 years. Like if you ask me what my career goal is, it's kind of to be Christina. <laughs>